right, I have owed you guys a video about my shell collection. So this is almost all the shells that I have collected and kept over the last just about two years. So we'll start off with the apple snails. Now these are land snails. You will not find them at the beach and I did share a video about these with my Patreons. So this is another type of shell that I do collect because they're kind of cool and really interesting. And then in this glass jar, I have a mix of a little bit of everything. It's pretty much what I do with my collection. I kind of just kind of keep it in glass containers, glass jars, and I like them all mixed together. I kind of like the, all the different textures and all the different colors. So big fan of keeping the things in glass. Now this is our shark teeth. We got those up in Venice. So we did get to go shark tooth hunting that one time. This is my juvenile Florida fighting conchs because I love the patterns. They just have the coolest stripes and different patterns. I uh, just love them. And then in this one, this is all stuff I found on the East Coast. So I kept those separate. This was from one particular trip. You see a piece of a lion's paw there, a bunch of those little bittersweet and piece of sea glass. So that's from the East Coast as well as these shells. These are also from the East Coast. You'll see that sundial sitting on top there. It's the only one really kind of intact one that I have that we found so far. This is my scallop tower. It is the first kind of a uh, tower, uh, my first collection that I put together. I decided to fill that with scallops. I may change my mind, but for now that's where my scallops are hanging out. And then here are my olives, my shiny pointy olives. I hope you can kind of see that they're shiny. And so that's where I keep my lettered olives. There's all different sizes and just ones that I thought were particularly lovely. So I've kept those to the side. And then in this bowl, I have a little bit of everything. And by little bit, I mean one. So I went through and pulled out one species of each particular shell. I've put them all in this bowl just in case I needed quick reference. I can just kind of go to that bowl and I know I should be able to find what I'm looking for down here. Now that is my horse conch. I've only found one and that's fine. It is particularly lovely. So I'm really, <laughs> really happy and proud with that particular shell. And then this one is a big old lightning whelk I found over on Captiva. So that was my first experience of finding a big monster shell. And there is a shell jammed in there and I'm just going to leave it. Just, <laughs> I can't really get it out and why not? So it's really two shells. And then in here, these are more like mid to small size. Again, a mix of all the different species, but I keep the, this is more based on size. So I just kind of have those in there. And then this is a nice, big, beautiful, like candy dish type thing. So again, they're all mixed in because I just like the way that that kind of looks. Here are some more smaller shells, again, based on size. And then over here, is kind of a tower-ish thing of all my lightning whelks. And you'll see, I do have a couple of albinos. I haven't found many. There's only a handful in there, but that is what I've been doing with my lightning whelks. And then my Florida fighting conchs. I just love these. Now look at this one particularly. It's got those vertical stripes on it. It's got a little bit of shine to it. So I just think that, I just love these guys. I think they're awesome. And then down here, this is also one that I have a soft spot for. This is a big yellow one I found at Lido Key when they were doing some dredging up there. So I do love the Florida Fighting Conks so much so that I found this lantern um, and I cleaned it up and I filled it with even more Florida Fighting Conks because I just can't get enough of those. So that's pretty much my collection. I don't do a whole lot with my shells. Here's another little special collection that I have, and I keep these in a box. Um, again, just for quick reference, you'll see I have some shark eyes. I have the alphabet cones, a couple pieces of Genonia. Here I have, this is an albino horse conch. So I thought that was really cool. I've only found one as well as this albino Florida fighting conch, although it's a little bit beat up. I, I like the albinos. They're kind of freak shells. And it's a baby's ear, my little Wenzel trap. And then this is like the biggest apple murex I've ever found. It's in great shape. So I just kind of stuck that to the side. All sorts of goodies in here. The giant bittersweet. Now this is a gaudy nautica and it's naturally shiny. I did nothing to this. I found it like that. The color is stunning. The, the, what's the, the surface is still shiny. Oh, I just think that that's beautiful. So I kind of kept that to the side. 
And then here we have a banded tulip. Another one of my favorites and that weird piece of beach stuff that I found. Just in case one day I figure out what it is, I can quickly reference it. True Tulip, The Lion's Paw, and yet another Florida Fighting Conch. But this one was one of the darker ones, like almost black, a dark chocolate brown and shiny. Ah, oh, can't get enough. And then just a smattering of other types of shells, my Genonia pieces. And then this was weird. This is a worm snail and it did have an arc that was broken and I found it like that on the beach. So I thought that was kind of neat. So I kept that to the side. So it's just kind of a smattering of this and that. I do have a hinged spiny jewel box in there, all sorts of cool stuff. And then this, I didn't show you at the beginning. This is another glass jar, again, of all mixed species. I like the way it looks, plus it's easy. And then this is my urchins and then my coral. And then just to let you know, I do have some projects on deck. I just have not found the time to do them. I'm gonna do a mirror and I'm gonna do a photo frame. So those are things I will plan on doing in the future. As you can see, I don't really do much with my shells. I, I put them in glass jars to decorate them or to decorate my home and I do love my shells. So patrons, Thank you so much as always for financially supporting me. I can't express how much I appreciate it. And thank all you guys for always coming along with me on my walks. You had been asking me for a long time what I do with my shells. It's not a whole lot, but I hope now you know at least what my collection looks like. And maybe this time next year, I'll do another one just to compare. Have a great week.